eternally grateful, thankful, and humbled by how many people came out tonight. This is just amazing. I'm not going to cry, so I'm going to stop talking shortly. But we have some wonderful speakers that came here tonight to say a few words. So I'm going to let them go, and then I'm going to wrap up. So first up, uh, either Lonnie, Teddy, who wants to go first? <laughs> Unlike Lynn, I lost my voice last week. It's coming back, so those that know me say, what's up? Um, it's an honor to be the opening act, or maybe it's even more of an honor to be have Jeff Deal as the closing act for my opening act. Uh, either way, thank you so much for inviting me here. Um, look, you said I could say anything in the world. And um, what I'd like to do is something a little different, and that is just have a small moment of silence, if we could, for the American hostages, the Jewish hostages. Sorry, that's my voice. You can say a silent prayer or something. Thanks. Um, look, uh, I'm not really sure what to say about the mass GOP. I think we know we use the term dysfunctional. I was trying to come up in my mind, you know, what's the image that comes to your mind when you think of the mass GOP? And all I could think of is food fight, Belushi, in uh, an animal house. But it wasn't a good enough analogy. Yes, that fit the June 8th meeting to a T, and I put it in the newspaper, the Boston Broadside, a number of pictures of people who are, you could talk to when they're nice, but they're yelling at one another, they're screaming, it was, it was total chaos. So the other analogy, and it's, it's really simple to do and put in your mind, but it's not accurate, but I want to do it anyway. It's that 80 members in a canoe. So the Mass GOP is 80 members, 40 men, 40 women, and they're supposed to be our governing board. And they're in a giant canoe, picture that giant canoe, half the size of you know, Lake Winnipesaukee. And the, where I say it's a bad analogy is because you can picture it, and you can picture half the people rowing in one direction, half the people rowing in the other direction. And we think that's all it is to it, is that there's some disagreements. But you can see those disagreements. We all see them all the time. You know, and if you go to a mass GOP meeting, you can see those meetings. And if you see that we can fit all the Republican senators into a phone booth, you know the results of those kind of not getting along. But it's really, if you've been on a canoe, it's, it's, the, it's the paddle draggers that are causing the problems. And you might not see them, because sometimes you think they're on your side rowing but they're really dragging the paddle, and the canoe is going nowhere. So that was my kind of image of the mass GOP. So I want to make the mass GOP relevant again. And having a candidate come forth like Lynn, she was the first one we put on the paper back in May. Papers are at the desk there. They had them when we came in. We brought some also, because I saved a few. I met her, Marie, Joe, a number of folks. Uh, down in Weymouth at a meeting. They were being, for lack of a better term, the committee was being abused by the local Democrats. And uh, Joe Fleming had to do a lot of documentation, same thing with Marie, just for some simple things having to do with ballot integrity. So good, that's a good, that's a good pause for me. So I'm psyched that this is the kind of candidate to support. And we gotta keep our eyes out for some of those paddle draggers and some of the other ones that are there that just need to get out of the boat. And somehow, if we can change things there, I'm hoping that we can come together also and change things throughout this state because there's so many good people and conservatives in hiding that have been beaten up for so long. And we need to make the Mass GOP relevant again. Thank you. everyone. It's an honor to be here and speak on behalf of my good friend Lynn. And um, I have to tell you, it was about a year and a half ago that I hit the law. No, it wasn't Powerball and it wasn't Mass Millions. Oh. <laughs> I, hit, I was introduced to Lynn through a mutual friend, Priscilla Guerrero. Priscilla knew that I was in desperate need of a technology expert to help me with my campaign for Governor's Council. And lo and behold, Lynn stepped up to the plate and eagerly jumped on board and we were a team ever since. Yeah. Uh, she was um, 
right on track. Uh, what did you start out? A fundraiser. Set up a website. Uh, Stand out. Standouts, parades, telephone calls, uh, press releases, you name it. She just <laughs> took charge. My de facto manager? Sure. <laughs> the salary was just unbelievable. <laughs> but anyway, so where am I here? I'm not a public speaker. This she did generously and on her own time while caring for her parents and maintaining her own full-time job. And I am in awe of the plethora of skills that this young woman possesses. And each, with each task, she completes it with perfection. Yes. Get out those thank you notes, Teddy. Get those thank you notes out. Uh, so, because of her tireless efforts, I was able to win one third of the vote in Massachusetts for the governor's council race against an incumbent who's been there for 30 years. I felt I did a pretty good job. Thank good. you. Lynn's time to shine. I just knew that there was a star in the making here. She has enthusiasm and a work ethic. And let's see what else. <laughs> uh, what else did I want to say? A certain je ne sais quoi. Ah, the most, <laughs> the most important ones, the courage of her convictions. So, I'm all over the place. Uh oh. <laughs>